Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while. Uh, let me just tell you what's going on. So, uh, I went last week, about a week and a half ago, uh, to text the Workforce Commission because my doctor told me that uh, if I go to them, they can help me get like a crane or a lift in my car uh, to help me with the wheelchair because as I mentioned before, my wheelchair weighs close to 50 pounds and it's kind of hard for me to lift up. And even though I'm lifting it now, I don't know how long that's gonna last. And plus, if you look on the back of my car, uh, the wheelchair leaves scratches, so the back of my car is all scratched up, like on the body, not not in the trunk, the scratches in the trunk, but the body of the car actually does have scratches from lifting up and taking down the wheelchair. So I went to text the Workforce Commission, I made an appointment, uh, they gave me paperwork to fill out before I went, and I had to fill it out on paper, so, and obviously as an taxiing, our handwriting was not the greatest, so it was about five pages, and I was trying to fill it out with hand, and each page I went through, my handwriting was getting worse and worse. Uh, so I w actually the last page, the last couple of pages I want to say I did not even attempt to fill them out because I saw the previous page how bad it was so I just left it blank and I just asked the lady when I went there I said let me just ask her if I can just go ahead and just tell us the information. So I went I met with the lady, really nice lady. Uh, I went there and she was going through my paperwork, noticed the handwriting issues. And I saw the page was blank, and then uh, she felt, she helped fill it out for me. Like, she would ask me verbally, and I would just give her the answers. Uh, so let her know all that. And so she kind of told me the process of what's going on. So basically what's going on now, I met with her for about an hour, hour and a half. And I want to say I was pleasantly surprised at the fact that she knew a lot about a taxi. I don't know if she maybe had a lot of taxi of people come through or she did her research right before. But she was asking me things about like, hey, am I having trouble swallowing? Am I taking other pills? Am I noticing that because of the ataxia, my health and alterations has been affected? Uh, she asked me things like, um, you know, how is the ataxia affecting me uh, with the wheelchair, do I, uh, do I really need help with the wheelchair? What kind of equipment am I looking for? What do I want them to help do for me? Uh, things like that. So it was kind of refreshing that I was actually speaking to someone that was pretty educated on the subject that knew, that knows the difficulties that we go through, how it affects our muscles. She asked me things like, um, am I weaker on my left side or my right side? Uh, my lower body, upper body, how do I get affected? Like, if I go to the gym, if I work out, what do I do? What workouts do I do? Running things like that. So, I mean, it was, it was, it was, I had no problem answering any of those questions. Uh, when it came to work, she asked me what kind of work I do. Uh, do I need the wheelchair there? And I said I do because I do a walking in my work. So uh, where do I take the wheelchair? What do I do with the wheelchair? Like what purpose do I use it for mainly? And mainly my main thing was I use it at work and I use it at home. Other than that, I don't really go anywhere. I don't really do anything. I do travel once, a, once in a while. But my traveling consists of driving. She asked me how far I live from work. Uh, I did let her know my drive is about 20 minutes away from work. Uh, and if I do live alone, if I live with, uh, if I have a caretaker, if somebody lives with me, if I have family that lives with me, I did mention that I do live alone, which I do. Uh, and so at that point, she took all this information down from me. She said that, okay, we'll be in contact. I have to request the documents from your doctors, I guess, basically to verify that I do have ataxia or what is wrong with me is really wrong with me. 
So she said that she will reach out to them. So I had to sign a couple of waiver forms that uh that give her permission to reach out to my doctor to get those uh, results of my blood work and things like that. And then I hadn't heard back from her last week and finally this week I did hear back from her and she's actually requesting more information. She's requesting a prescription from my doctor that says uh, basically that I guess that I can still drive, that I'm still able to drive because I do drive and uh, I do drive back and forth to work because I mentioned I do live by myself so it's not like I can reach out to somebody. And uh, here I there's no really public transportation where I'm at so I can't really take a bus or take a train and go to work because I don't live close to public transportation and there's no close public transportation by where I work as well. So that's not an option. So, and then as well, she, she did send me a, uh, a questionnaire that I do need to fill out. And again, this asks more about my driving. Uh, this asks also about medications I take. Uh, this asks about kind of my attack chat, like the general, in general, about my attack chat, like, well, like again, what side of my body is weaker? How would this affect me if I get this? You know, random, just random questions like that. So I'm in the process of filling that out and hopefully I'll get, the, get that back to her next week. Uh, the prescription of my doctor, from my doctor, I reached out to them and I asked them for that prescription. Uh, they asked me who was who needed it, so I let them know oh, who needed that. So I haven't heard back from them. So hopefully they're uh, they're taking care of that. So hopefully they can get that to her next week as well. And then once it all gets approved, at that time uh, she mentioned I would have to go for like a fitting. So. I guess so that way they can figure out what's the best uh, what's the best thing for my vehicle so that way they don't give me something too heavy for my car and it won't even fit on my car. So once everything gets approved, I can go in for the fitting and at that time, at that time once I do go in for the fitting, I will definitely let you guys know how that went, the process of the fitting. Uh, in the meantime, I do want to let you guys know that I did finally get my wheelchair back. There was still an issue when I did get back, and we reached out to the company again. This time we got a replacement joystick, and it seems like that has fixed the issue because I've not seen any issues since then. Uh, so every day I'm driving, I'm driving the uh the wheelchair to work or. Well, not to work. I mean, I drive my car to work. And then from there to my desk, I bring the wheelchair. So I drive it around work. Um, and as I mentioned, I've, got, I've taken it through a couple of tests. And I'll explain more in my next video when I actually, uh, when I actually took a video of the, uh, of the wheelchair of why I liked it and the features it has. And hopefully I'll get that out within the next couple of days. Uh, until then, please comment, subscribe, like, give me ideas for, for any future videos that you would like to see me do, that you would like to see me talk about. Uh, until then, guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you then. Thanks.